kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to build a QR code scanner app uh, using live camera in Android Studio. So, let's get started. So, guys, before wasting any time, let me first of all show you the demo. So, here we have developed the app. So, when we open the app, so here you are able to see the uh, the camera preview and so before uh, doing anything let's create or generate a QR code scanner so here we can say programming this is value of QR code okay and I click on generate QR code and there so now you are able to see this uh, code so now let me move my camera towards it So here you are able to see uh, code retrieved. This is its value of QR code. All right. So again, if I move the camera here, so you are able to see this. All right. So now I will show you how to build this. So go to your Android Studio, then create a new project. After everything is set up, so now you need to go to your build.gradle, and here you need to add the dependency xyz dot belvi dot mobile vision barcode scanner 2.0.3 all right after that go to build dot gradle and here add the maven dependencies Maven dot google dot com ok so now you need to click on synchronize now so after everything is ok so before we move forward please i want to request you that please download my app which i have created and also please give me reviews if you like if you like it ok so here it is the app mini pocket gps so i will upload the, the link in the video description please like it or and also install it and give me reviews all right so now we are back to our android studio so first of all what you need is okay so now you need to go to activity main dot xml and here we need to add first of all the fragment to display the preview of the camera so here we can say fragment match parent match parent and also let's try to set the id to barcode and then we need some properties here so first of all the it will be the name so we can say com dot google dot android dot gms dot samples dot vision dot barcode reader dot barcode capture all right so after that after we set the name and then we can say gvb app gvb autofocus to true then we can have App GVB code format is to all format. Then we can also have app GVB flash false. All right. So after we have this fragment with some properties then we need to go to main activity and then here implement we need to implement the method barcode retriever then it will say some error so you need to implement the method on permission request denied then we have on retrieved failed then we have on retrieved then also have on 
retrieved multiple and also I have we have on bitmap scanned all right so after we have all the methods then what we need okay so now we need to cast this fragment here so for that we can say barcode capture barcode capture equals to barcode capture then we can say get spot fragment manager and finally we can say dot find fragment by id r dot id dot barcode all right so after that we will just uh, can say barcode capture dot set retrieval and here we can pass this all right so after that we need to uh, here uh, write uh, something that after the qr code is retrieved so now here we can display it in an alert dialog so for that we need to run the uh, alert dialog in the in the ui okay so for that we need to use either handler handler or we can also can say run on ui thread new runnable okay so inside that we can uh, display the alert dialog so for that we can say alert dialog dot builder builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder and this or okay so here we can say main activity dot this then we can say dot set title and here we can say code retrieved then also we can say dot set message and for the message we can say barcode dot display value okay so here it is saying that uh, we need to declare it final so just say final all right so after that we just need to say builder dot show okay so i guess that is it all right so now let's run the app and let's see if it works or not so in the meanwhile let's generate a new qr code so uh, for that let's click on and here say facebook.com and click on generate so here the app is now running so let's let me move it to the qr code and here you are able to see code retrieved with the facebook link all right guys so if you like the video please like it and subscribe goodbye